Battletoads. There's Scrooge McDuck's cousin with some whipped cream on his head. SS Vulture. Is that like the SS Minnow? Looks like a Romulan Warbird. This game came out a few years after uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. So maybe they were inspired by that? That's the warp up there, but I'm not going to be doing warps here. This is a warpless run of the game. Because if you warp, you miss out on so much. It's like when I'm playing the Mario games, I don't like to warp. You just miss out on too much. Especially with this game, you miss out because one of the best things about this game is how much variety there is in the levels. So, you're doing yourself a big disservice if you warp in this game. Because you're going to miss out on so many cool levels. Like, there's the level where you're like riding on the snakes. Um, there's, you're swimming. Uh, races. The next level, you're hanging from ropes. Um... Near the end of the game, there's a level where you're going up a cylinder that's like spinning, like a tower. It's crazy. Um, there's just so much. So yeah, that's definitely one of the best things about this game is how, how you know how creative it is. His tongue can get pretty long there. Huh. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! What a battle toad he is. This is going to be a really obvious statement, but I'll say it. This is very similar to um, Turtles in Time when you're throwing the foot soldiers at the camera. And I guess back then they just thought that was a really awesome effect that you could do. Throw things towards the camera. Da -da. Level 2. That's Rita Repulsa. No, that's a Dark Queen. That's a cool sprite. I like that. I think more girls should cosplay as her. Or be her for Halloween. Be a cool Halloween costume. I don't like creative, at least original, because I don't see anybody ever be that. Nice. And that's probably because if you go to a Halloween party and you're dressed as the Dark Queen from Battletoads, you know, you'll probably get like, Oh, who are you, honey? A, Din a Disney princess? Are you Maleficent? Is that who you want? No, I'm the Dark Queen from Battletoads. Oh. Well, what is Battletoads? I don't, I don't, I haven't heard of that, honey. You know. <laughs> you have to bring the game with you or something. And... Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> Getting some extra lives here, though. Okay. And I love the music on this stage. The music is probably my favorite thing about the game. You know, there's a lot of, like I said, variety in the levels, but the music, I think, is the strongest aspect of this, actually. At least to me. I mean, there's a lot of great things about the game, but I feel like that's the strongest thing. Ah, damn. Even if I don't get the extra lives every time, it's like... Jeez. Jesus. Just trying to get the points, you know? I 
motherfucker. I'm trying really hard to get all those points for extra lives. Damn it. Fucker. Nice. Another one. Next level is the infamous Turbo Tunnel. There she is again. It's probably the most famous level in the game. It's the racing part. Comes up about halfway through. These guys look like the Beagle Boys with the mask and the hats. <laughs> the nose. Space Invaders. I have the instruction manual here, just real quick. Um, this is a cool instruction manual because it shows a lot of like illustrations. Um, but it says in here about those, the Vaders. This survivor of the original Invaders is out to steal your energy bars. Um, but it just calls them Vaders, not Space Invaders. They're probably trying not to get like sued. It's funny that they don't, you know, they didn't change up the name more than that. But in the 90s, I guess it was the, you know, the Wild West sort of game design. It's like, oh, we want to do a parody of Space Invaders. Can we do that? Yeah, just call them Vaders. Like, they, you know, that's probably all the thought that went of that. Uh, just don't call them Space Invaders. Nice. Dun, dun, dun. And here we go. So I'm not going to talk at every point during this playthrough. Sometimes I really need to focus, so... Just throwing that out there. And I cannot remember for the life of me if I just said this or not, but I might have been thinking it in my head. <laughs> uh, I'm playing this on the original card on a NES uh, top loader with NTSC cartridge. If I already said that, sorry. And an original controller. I don't like the NES Max or the top dog bone. I feel like I already said that, but I was thinking it a minute ago. <laughs> if I said that earlier, I'm definitely getting old. <laughs> anyway, I like the music on this stage. Changing the topic very quickly. People don't think I'm losing my mind. We all we all know that I've lost my mind. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Dun, 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 dun. Stuff. <sighs> hold my hold my breath on that part. But um, 
There she is again. She's always got something to say. The ice caverns. Also, I like the music here. So this whole game is about, you know, memorization, trial and error. You gotta know where everything is. So if you're ever, you know, want to try this game for the first time, don't expect to, you know, probably get too far the first time you play it, because there's a lot you gotta remember. It's one of those games. There's games like Zelda 2, which I play like a lot, or like, I don't know, I feel like I play like, I don't know, what do I play a lot, like Mario 3 and shit, Batman, TMNT, and I feel like, um, for one thing, look at his fucking shitty and grin on his fucking face, Rash, little fucker, um, I feel like the, I realized I was playing Golden Axe. Golden Axe is a game where you have to double tap a lot, the D-pad, and I hate doing that. I hate it in that game. And this is a game that you have to double tap a lot, the D-pad. And I think it's kind of like, sometimes I feel like, oh god, I'm gonna have to double tap for like an hour, because this, this game's like a fucking marathon. So sometimes I don't feel like playing this game a lot, actually, because because of that, I think. It's, a, it's the double tapping. That's just a me thing. I think a lot of people, it probably doesn't bother most people. But for me, it's like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna spend the next, you know, hour or whatever double tapping the fucking D-pad. And it's just like, sometimes I get like sick of doing that. So I think that's the thing that I don't really like about the game, is there's so, that's such a big aspect of it. But that's probably the, like one of the only things I really don't like. But that's a big thing though, because shit, because you do it so often. So ah, darn it. Ah. I hate this part too. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Have the fucking thing. There, finally. Fuckers. So when you jump in here, the thing will disappear. Ah. Here comes one of the hardest jumps. I can do it. Did it. <laughs> Gotta jump at the very last second. Sucks. <laughs> The ice. There's an ice level, there's a fire level. Fire zone, I think it's called. And that's that's one of my favorites, because it looks like a dark ride. Show you when I get there. Uh, is that the next level, actually? No, we got the uh, surfing after this, I think, right? Yeah, the water rapids and then the snake bit. Yeah. Nice. 
Okay. Da, 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 da. More space invaders coming up, right? Yep. Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Stupid. So if you want, like, extra points here, make sure to, like, not knock this guy off screen so you can, like, hit that fucking thing. And points are important in this, because if you want extra um, lives, and lives are, lives are important here, you know, it's good to kill everything, like, even kill that thing, all that shit, all that shit. All that good shit, and they gotta get this guy in the corner. It's hard. Well, got lucky there. It can be hard. Like, probably couldn't have gone much better, though. Alright. Usually, I have actually. Usually, I have a hard time with that, so that was really good. Oh boy. Oh my god. This part can be dangerous. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. Uh, her, her. <laughs> Forward a bit. Nice, got that. Da, da, da. Da, da. Okay. Oh my god! Just fucking hit that. All right, that's so far so good, pretty much. Snake pit. Snake pit. Talking about level creativity. Look at this shit. Like, what other game do you see something like this? Actually, I feel like in Bucky O'Hare on NES, there's something kind of like this. Yeah, definitely, like on the ice level, maybe in Bucky O'Hare. But regardless. It's different though. I think there's more like memorization here. That's another good game, Bucky Bear. I actually beat that game on hard with the hard code, which you can watch. It's already on YouTube. Did that challenge, that was fun. So yeah, this is a big trial and error thing. Like I know what to do because I've done this a bunch before, so this is the Freddy Krueger snake, like the his fucking t-shirt or his sweater. <laughs> Freddy Krueger's t-shirt. You know, all those t-shirts Freddy wears. Wait here. Once again, trial and, trial and error. Trial and error memorization. And I do not have a good memory, so if I can remember this shit, you probably can too. Just do it enough. Like a lot of these NES games, the hardest thing is a lot of the wall. Hang on a second. Oof, that's the hardest part. Probably this whole snake thing. Um, I was just gonna say memorization is important and whatever. I don't know. I'm just trying to come up with things to say. Oh, that's a long snake there. <laughs> Whoa. Just fucking run off the side. That's not good. Oh, come on. That sucks. I, I made the hard part too. That part's also a little bit hard, though. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? <sighs> Oof. I hate that part. Alright. Hump that snake. Oh, yeah. Do it, Rash. Do, 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 do. Good, come on. 
Good. All right, here's the last screen. Sucks that I died before. <sighs> Doesn't suck as bad as how much I gotta blow my nose hair. Can't do it yet though. Jump here. All right, this is the last part. Wait till the last second. Okay. Did it. Okay, here's the fire zone. This is hell, basically. these jumps. Sometimes I can fuck it up. Good. <sighs> Jump over that. Oh god. Good. Good. Gonna be more on the right side of these things. I feel like the hitbox is more on the right than the left, I think. Don't quote me on anything here. I'm no expert. Whoa. Good. Good. These things you want to uh, hit. I recommend hitting them more than... Um, trying to jump over them. Space invaders. Dude, dude. More of them? Oh, shit. That sucks. Almost had that. That sucks. So this is the part that looks like a Disney dark ride. It's like the end of Mr. Toad's wild ride with the devils and the flashing and with the black background. Probably my favorite shot in the game right there. God, seriously? Died on that. All right, shmup time. As long as I get the one up. There's one forgiving thing about this game, and it's that if you get a one up, it comes back if you die. Got it. Ooh. So even if I die right here, that's okay. Oh, that's another, because I got another 100,000. All right, here we go. Fucking this part is... Shit, you have to memorize it. This part's 
less bullshit because they give you a warning. on this level. Ugh, what the hell? What am I doing? Um, one I know how to get, and I can get half the time. I'm just gonna wait on that. And one, if the second one that comes up, I don't know how to fucking get it. I wish I did. First one's right here. Ugh, what am I doing? Okay. Okay, got that. Good. Sometimes that fucking yellow thing goes in the other direction and it's annoying. Good. 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 So the hardest level for me is the rat race, by far, because there's a lot of that, there's a lot of double tapping, and you gotta go back and forth, and it has that shit from, like, Marble Madness that kind of kills my hand, it's just everything that kills me. Dude, 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 that one up, I don't fucking know how to do that. Screen up here so I can see something. Good. Just be patient. Patience is a big thing here. At least for me. I mean, there's people that can speed run it, but I, I can't do that, so I have to be very patient. Not a dumbass, I should have just waited. Okay. They're gonna take the, my fucking stick away from me, too. This boss fight. There we go. Okay. I almost for forgot. Never do what I just did there, where I was on the fucking right, the right side. That's a mistake. Yep. Damn it! 
mind too much on this. Oh, got him. All right. Well, I what did I pass? Another hundred thousand. Got an extra guy. <sighs> Wish I would have died like one less on that. But I've done worse in the past. So these fucking guys, you definitely want to make sure you kill these fucking dudes because they'll blow up. And if you pass them. They'll shoot the electricity things and can kill you later on, so definitely kill those fucking guys. <sighs> Boom. So this level fucking sucks. <laughs> um, most of it's fine, but when you get to this part with the fucking fish underwater, it's like... It's, the, the orange fish are very, like, sporadic. Um, random bullshit, and I don't like—I don't like them. This is all memorization. Stand against the wall. Jump. This part that's coming up is bad. This underwater shit. Depending on how tough these guys feel like being. These fucking these fuckers. Fucking kill me. Okay. Kill that guy. Good, kill him. I missed the actual life there. I don't think it comes back, right? <sighs> this part's really hard. This is one of the hardest parts. bad part. Wow. That's one of the hardest fucking parts right there. What's great though is, I was gonna say, is that if you can do it, if you can get this extra life. Jesus. Fucking sharks being hard. They give you an extra life there if you can fucking grab it and that fucking shark. It sucked. Now a speedrunner would never do this, but I I wait out these things because they'll kill you. <sighs> cool, got that. See now I'm not too nervous though because it's like. If I die, I can have as many chances as possible because it takes me back to that one up. So that's one forgiving thing, I gotta say. If I can just fucking get up here. Oh my god, thank god. In the middle, left and right. That's that level. So here comes the hardest level in the game for me, the rat race. 
for the, it's divided into three sections and the bottom section is the hardest part and that's what usually where I die a lot. So <clears throat> Intense music too. right here. This is the hardest part of the game for me. So what I just did there was really important <sighs> by hitting the rat against the wall. It's kind of hard to explain. I'm gonna punch this guy. Punch him in his back. Yeah, fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah. <clears throat> I just did. <sighs> ah, don't. Come on, get up, get up, get up. <clears throat> Hate this fucking guy. Got him. Da 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 da. That's probably the hardest level in the game. That and then finally the uh, the last level. We'll see though. We'll see what happens. Woo! All right, clinger winger.
Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. Good until this shit. What the fuck? Oh my god! Look at all the fucking lives I'm losing on this. Fucking god damn it. I usually do better on that. Good thing I got all those extra lives and shit. Alright. things are awful. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Not ready for this. Shit. This fucking green thing. Oh no. Fucker. Red fucking guy comes out now. Good. 
Eat a dick, motherfucker. Cool. I do worse on that guy. here. <laughs> Jump on this to that, I guess. <sighs> Good. Triggering the screen out a bit so I can fucking see something. Mm. Good. these. Wait for the red things to go. yellow things here, here, so. Hang off of that. I'm gonna get killed. That sucks. He wouldn't hang off the fucking yellow pole. Gotta hang off the yellow pole, motherfucker. Gotta hang off that yellow pole, you motherfucker. to this thing. McGee over here. Better hang on it. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Seriously? Fucking went through that platform. Get 
out of here. God damn it. Bastard. Alright. Oof. Guess I killed it? Can't fucking tell. Fucker just won't grab the fucking thing. <sighs> fucking asshole. I think it's gone now. God, I hate that. I think I got some extra lives earlier, right? Full tornado, you can't Ooh. get a hit in. That score. Oh my goodness. What a battle toad he is. <laughs> what a battle toad. Ah. To jump there. Jesus. Now I don't want anybody to dress with you as a Halloween costume, Dark Queen, stupid. Just kicking my ass here. I think when she's like half in the tornado, you can get some hits. Is she gonna come across? Ah, come on. I almost got it. 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, that's too many deaths on this. Come on. Aesthetic. I did a lot better earlier on. But. Da, 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 da. And that is the Battletoads. The Battletoads. Oh, yeah. Also, don't stand in the middle. Reminds me of the Adventures of Batman and Robin on the part where the cat like comes down. You gotta make sure to like stay to the side. It's funny when they do things like that. You slime jackets. You nasty fiends. And you save your friend. And that is it. So, that was. We did that without using the continue, which is cool. And there's Scrooge McDuck with the whipped cream on his head. And there she goes. And there's your Romulan Warbird once again. And that is Battletoads. Very creative game with lots of um, cool level variety. Great music. And so the Dark Queen is defeated once again, retreating into the shadowy margins of the galaxy to recoup her losses. Until next time. And there was one on Genesis and on Super Nintendo. And in the arcade. The arcade's like totally different. It's like a beat em up. Uh, well, how do I say? Like, it's, I don't know, it's a quarter muncher or whatever. But that's it. That is Battletoads. All right, thanks for watching. Till next time.